So today we're going to be sketching this portrait right here with a really loose technique. So we're not using pencil, we're going straight to ink and I want to show you how to sketch this with all the facial features in a really quick way. It's not perfect, it's a stylized sketch. I've also got a Keritaki watercolor kit here so I'll test that out and I've got a Panto water brush pen and a Posca white marker. My Uniball micro pen which has been really great for sketching. So what I'm thinking about as I'm sketching these loose quick sketches is make sure that you you have a sphere in your mind. Put it on the reference here. You can see how big the sphere is and the chin comes out about this far. And on the side of the head we cut this, the head with a circle and that is the hairline actually and then the middle of that circle is the brow and the bottom of that circle is the bottom of the nose and then if you have three parts of the face like that we go down another bit and that's the chin and the jawline goes around and cuts that circle right in the middle and there's the ear on the side. So these three sections are important. And I'll show you as I'm sketching how I divide up the face using only four dots. So imagining a sphere here where I'm sketching around that top part of the hair. So we go around this. There's basically a wonky line following some of those shapes. Okay, I'll, I'll, we'll stop there at the bottom of the hair. And now we go around the front. So trying to follow the rough shape of there. We can adjust it as we go. And now thinking about that sphere again, coming down to where that chin should just come out a little bit from where the sphere is. And then we'll follow that silhouette and then across like this. And then there. You can go a bit slower if you like. And if you feel like the shape's wrong, we can just add some lines in. So now I've got my rough silhouette of the shape. Now let's divide that shape into two. So we have the hairline like that. See that little shape here? And now I'm looking at that shape on this side. And I can see if I go from here to here, about halfway is there. So it's a little bit to the right of halfway. And I go down, and that's where the corner of the ear is. If that's that circle on the side of the head. It's in that back quarter. So put it there. Jawline would come here. So now we've got the feel of the position of the head. Now how do we put in the facial features? I think this is the most difficult part is finding where the eyes go. Um, we want to break the face into three sections. So the way I do it with four dots is I imagine that between the eyebrows is two dots and on either side of the nose is two dots. So that breaks the face into three sections. So here between the, the hairline and the chin, I can imagine that there's two lines here breaking it into three sections and I put two dots, so just the inside of that eyebrow, the, the left eyebrow, and then move across and another dot there. Um, if you get them wrong, you can adjust them because they sort of disappear when you add all the other details. So now that's one third and then the other one, the nose, corner nose is there and over there. So now let's draw the the eyebrows in. Go angling up slightly and then down. This tapered feel where they taper off. Now so for the bottom of the nose let's just focus on those bottom shapes under the nose. Do that's the left nostril on the left side and then let's do the right nostril. Keep it quite flat so it has a long and then it goes down at the end. Three sections of the face now. Change certain things. Yes. That's what we can do. We can adjust. Now the eyes really important here that we get the position right. We can see here from this corner it goes up two thirds up towards the brow. Put a little line there. That, that could almost be um, the bridge of the nose there. Now the same width as the nose or the same width as those two dots that we did before. We go across about here. So it's slightly angled back from those other dots up here. And that's that corner of the eye. Now see that distance we have here. The width of the nose pretty much. We go across again the same distance. And then the next eye should be this way. And now look, does that look right? We can check it going from the top of the head to the chin. The eye should be about the middle. Okay, now we can draw the eye. So two simple lines. We go a little line up here. You can see it's quite obvious with this reference, with this photo. One up like that, one down to the other one. And then over here, this line here, shoulder. Add in the iris. So I'm looking at the space there and the iris fills up about half. Okay, so it's one iris, it's a bit more hidden on that other side. There, look back. Now let's put in the pupil. I'm trying to leave a little cut into that circle so there's a little glint. Now this top eyelid we can thicken up. So very, that's the most simple lines you can use. You could leave it like that or you can add a few more uh, supporting lines around there. But before we do that, let's move down to the mouth. I always start with the corners of the mouth here. If I see here the left side of the mouth, if you go from the side of the nose, it looks like it's actually angling back. It's not over here, it's over this way. So to find that corner, that's, that's that angle. And then the height between the chin and the bottom of the nose, 
I go halfway and then up just slightly. So I'd put the corner of the mouth here. And then over here, you can see it's not actually too far out. It's almost down like this because she's got a very relaxed mouth. Can you see the darkest points there around the teeth? So it angles slightly this way for those teeth. And then there's more darkness at the bottom like that. So let's add the top part of that opening. Okay, so that's the opening of the mouth. Now we're not trying to draw, outline the lips. We're just drawing that shadow under the bottom lip. Let's add the top lip for this girl. Okay, so now let's add some more supporting lines around. Uh, we'll start with the nose, lines like this, and they're just to hint the size of that end of that nose. And then around the eye, it's a little line there. Okay, now we'll add a bit more detail to the hair here. Still thinking about the way the movement is, shapes. And we can't really see the ears, so we'll cover it up with hair. Okay, so I've got my watercolor set here. So these are the colors I'm going to use if you're interested in that, uh, so you can follow along, but use any watercolors you have. So I've burnt sienna here. I'm just mixing a very, very light wash. So now let's just add, oh, do a bit wet there. So there's the skin tone, the burnt sienna, just in one wash. So now for the hair, make sure I add, leave some white. See the white highlights there, or wispy. I've made a nice ultramarine wash, and now I'm going to add a little bit of background. Let's see if that works. So one of my favorite things to do is to add a bit of blush here. You can see just behind the hair there, there's some blush. Taking the color out of my brush and blending the edges. Okay, so it's not a hard edge around that blush. So I added a bit of ultramarine to my burn number for the hair, and now I'm going to add a second layer, just adding tiny bits around the eyebrows there. Now I'm making a violet wash. Just test. We want that to be quite light, so I'll put lots of water in. Yeah, that's quite light. Now, where are the shadows? Okay, we have a bit of a shadow here and here. Just on top of the eye, and then there's a little bit of shadow under the eye. So do these main ones first. Top lip and underneath that lip here. Side of the nose, so a bit of shadow up here. And under the chin, of course, all in here. And I'm saving this, put a wash on the shirt here. Okay, so now the hair is probably dry. Add in a bit of purple into that as well. Texture, some brighter blue for the iris here. And I've got that rose color and I'll do a bit more on the lips. Okay, so the last step is to add a bit of white highlights. So I've got my Posca pen and I'm just looking for areas that might have some highlights. And now some highlights on the lips. So there you go, I hope that was helpful especially how to find the features when you're going straight to ink with really loose sketches. So if you want the real-time version of this so you can sketch along, I'll pop that up on Patreon for my members there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.